Hello, this is Lan Romini of Local Hero Post, and this is a scratch tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at using recursive scaffolds for creative effect and a kind of pseudo tone mapping that you can do, uh, especially with uh, images shot on the red in scratch using recursive scaffolds. Um, here we have a shot that was shot on the MX uh, red, so uh, you know, nice uh, 11, 12 stops of latitude, and um, in this case, we have a lot of great highlight protection and we have some shadow protection. Um, what we're going to do here is do a grade, let's say you were just doing a grade for the faces and uh, you brought, you wanted it to be nice and bright and poppy on the faces. And you brought all this way up, let's say you were happy there with the faces. And you're noticing that you're clipping in your highlights here a little bit. And that's just the nature of pushing the image that far. Um, let's say, for example, we want it to go even a little bit further on the faces, that we really wanted to bring the key up on the faces. And we were happy there. But, of course, DP and Director are now looking at this going, hey, what happened to my curtains? Traditionally, you'd have to pick one or the other or do some complex uh, uh, windowing. Um, but in this case, because the highlights were not blown out, and they traditionally aren't on well-shot footage, um, you have some options. So what you can do is, let's do a grade that protects the curtains, protects the highlights. Let's take a look. See, we're not clipping just yet. Okay, so at no point now are these blown out. And what we will do is duplicate this shot on top of itself, because we're going to use it. And I'm going to create a grade here. Let's just call it base grade. And in this base grade on a scaffold, we will uh, go the rest of the distance and bring the faces way up and actually blow out the, uh, the curtains in the background. Now, if you know anything about recursive scaffolds, I think you can see where this is going. So let's say we're happy with the faces here. I know I'm being a little extreme, but it's to show an example. So then we would do a secondary scaffold uh, and call it highs and make this non-recursive. And basically the difference between recursive and non-recursive is recursive goes on top of all the work that you've already done. It's like an adjustment layer on top. And non-recursive punches through the work that you've done in the other scaffolds and goes back to the base layer. So in texture here, if I go fetch my other version of the shot that is safe, turn my grade on, what I've got now is a version of the shot before this base grade scaffold. So then what I'll do is I'll use a highlight key, very simple highlight key, And I'll key back in just the parts that I want to bring in from my safe grade. Now you have to do this kind of carefully because you can get a strangely tone mapped looking image pretty quickly. Okay, here's a, here, here it is working. So what you've got now is the key is basically pulling in just the protected parts of the shot that I want to bring back. And you'll see that even though this is all very pushed, the, the clipped parts of the whites in, in the curtains, in her hair, and in her dress have now been brought back down to detail. Now the interesting part is that in this recursive scaffold, we have control over just what was keyed. And so we can now decide how gently we want to blow that material out. And usually it's a very small adjustment uh, and a very small difference, but keeping just a little bit of highlight information in there really makes a, a big difference. Here we're just pulling back just a little bit. If you look at this curtain here, we're pulling, we're, we're still blowing out a little bit. We're going from clipped to there's just a little bit more detail and we haven't actually affected the character's face at all. Uh, we haven't affected the loom at all. So we're protecting on both ends. And now on top of that, the interesting part is if you throw a, a recursive scaffold 
I'm going to call this overall, on top of everything, what you're doing is grading everything together now, which is interesting. Uh, so this is now, this grade that we're doing now would be doing everything together, including our highlight protection. Uh, so you could basically make a pseudo tone mapped image here, high dynamic range image, and then grade it all together for creative effect after the fact. So that's a very uh, powerful little tool. Uh, it's a way to use uh, recursive scaffolds to, um, for creative effect. And the way that we've used this in production is basically uh, retaining detail in clouds and skies and outside of windows and brightly lit scenes. And uh, creative clients have been very impressed. Okay, thank you for watching.